This is the Civilization 4 NLL. Hello, I am Shutlike. Welcome back to the final game of round two of fixtures for the NLL season one. Today we are finishing up with Saladin versus Wow the second. Saladin, the leader after the first round in the first division with his two points. Versus Wow the second also winning in fourth place with his two points. Can Saladin remain the total after this game by beating Wow the second? We don't know yet. Let's go find the starting positions. Here we are. Let's look at the resource bubbles. Saladin is starting <laughs> with a lot of water around himself. Clam, clam. Wheat, sheep, there is whale, and there is also some uranium over here. It's on the eastern starting continent with uh, some lands going up here, some lands going down here. There is access all the way down here and probably not going to reach that one before astronomy, but it will be able to reach up here. Unless, well, that's probably going to be Wow the second because Wow starts over here. He has some fish. He has sheep, stone, wheat, and some more sheep over here. So a lot of green here. Will he focus on going onto this large island here? Or will he focus on trying to go down the coastline towards Saladin to the east here? I don't know what Wow is thinking. Saladin then, he could go west trying to reach this spot to cut off Wow and then keep all of this for himself. Or he could not. Let's find out what they have, are doing by starting the game. Welcome to Saladin versus Wow the second. We are of one city each. Saladin first to Buddhism and he adopts it. The second city, when will it come? There it is. Wow, the second goes south and Saladin goes west. Wow has three cities, both have three cities by the way, and it looks like Wow is actually now trying to get down into the southern part. Oh yes, he is. Turn 100 is soon upon us. Five Wow cities, four Saladin cities. We are coming up with 5565 five, to Huau, going up to 1 AD with 6 Portuguese cities, 5 Arabian cities, 7, 6 now, both of them on mathematics. Saladin is a little bit weaker than Huau the second though, 0 0.7 the strength, but Huau the second is uh, pleased with Saladin, so that is not a problem. Both of them are in the same religion at the moment, both of them, and there Huau switches into Christianity, which he founded himself, and 9 Portuguese city Saladin with 7. And we see that Wow has also gone down south to the southern uh, part, that little island down there. Taken up residence down there. So 11 Portuguese city versus 7 Arabian cities. It looks like Wow now is going to be the bigger one of these two. Let's see when he can found cities in the new world. 11 cities to 9, both of them on feudalism. Saladin going for literature next with Wow and Code of Laws. Saladin's a little bit weaker, but with good relations, metal casting next. Wow goes for his engineering. Saladin is just on machinery of Wow and civil service. Turn 208. And it looks like Saladin is trying to reach optics. But as we know, we see from the screen, Wow has already access to the new world. He has settled a city on that continent, small continent in the middle of the map. Two cities down there now. Wow the second is friendly though, 13 cities to 9 for favoring the Wow the second, the Portuguese leader. Let's see when Saladin can go into the new world. Wow has settled yet another city over there, Wow was getting astronomy, 15 cities to 9. He settled another 17 cities to 9 now favoring Wow the second. Saladin could be in trouble here, let's see what happens. In the next few minutes here, 17 to 9, but Wow is friendly with Saladin, so he's not going to attack him, I think. Turn 250, we are halfway through. Saladin 
with his nine cities are doing some espionage against Tuao the second. That is surely not the way to get on his good side, but he is already on Saladin's good side, so going for the next. Saladin is trying for astronomy now, Huao on constitution, but with 21 cities to 9, Huao the second surely cannot lose from this position, can he? Turn 271 now, gunpowder for Saladin, Huao is going towards the communism, divine right, well, 10 cities for Saladin, he has built a city out in the west there, and 11 cities for Saladin, he's starting to get some cities up now, out all the way in the east, I mean. But um, all the way in the east uh, wraps around to the west. I just saw some Saladin uh, cultural borders there and there it is all the way in the west as well. But with 13 cities going for rifling, wow, the second is faster going for rifling. 26 cities, wow, 13 cities, Saladin, we are at almost a turn 300. Wow is pleased with Saladin. So currently there are no particular danger for Saladin. The Saladin is weaker. 29 to 14 cities now. 29 to 15. Saladin is taking those islands down in the south. But uh, Wow the second has control over the continents in the new world. So he is going to be and stay bigger for the rest of the game I think. 29 to 16 and now Huao is probably going to take away. He's going for steam powder. Saladin is going for constitution but he's not taking as fast as Huao and he has only 16 cities to Huao's now 30 cities. Huao is on steel going for railroads. We are at turn 320. Saladin trying to go for democracy. 0.6 the strength of Huao now so Huao can really decide for himself how he wants to win this game now. 31 cities to 16. Going for combustion. Saladin is on democracy still. Wow is getting his assembly line up and running. 0.5 the strength of Wow. I don't think that it is in Saladin's best interest to attack, but there is the war. There is the war. 31 to 16 cities and wow. It is probably Huao who has attacked Saladin now. I didn't see the declaration of war, but 16 cities left for Saladin. We have to pay attention to that now to see when they fall. Turn 342, 343. And Huao is on electricity. Saladin is trying to go for military tradition. He still has his 16 cities, so Huao hasn't managed to take one. But wow is on the industrialism right now. Turn 350. Uh, once the tanks are up, it could go fast for Huao, of course. Saladin, 16 cities left. Huao, the second, 31 cities. And now Huao has industrialism, scientific method for Saladin, plastics for Huao. Huao, Saladin is only 0.4 the strength of the Portuguese leader. He hasn't lost any cities left. Still 16 cities. Trying to go for physics. Turn 360 is here. Saladin point for the strength. I'm surprised that he hasn't lost the city yet. Wow, going for radio. Yeah, going for radio. 31 cities to 16. How much is Wow the second actually putting into this war? He's going for artillery though. But I feel like he should have been able to take a city by now if he wanted to do this the right way. Physics for Saladin, rocketry for Huao, and Huao is growing stronger and stronger, and Saladin is growing weaker and weaker compa in comparison. Chemistry next for Saladin, Huao is way ahead, going for satellites. Maybe this war is just to slow Saladin down, Saladin is on steel. <laughs> but it also slows Huao the second down a little bit. So maybe this is going to make it a little bit more difficult for Huao to win space, going for the composites now. But Saladin, there is Saladin down to 15 cities by the way. I caught it and down to 14 and there is the domination. Yeah, he reached it already. That was a little bit earlier than what I had anticipated. Huao winning domination when Saladin still has 14 cities left. I was expecting for Huao to having to cut Saladin down to at least 10 or 9 cities, but he reached it already. 
I was not prepared for that, but congratulations to Huao II of Portugal. A domination victory in 1960 turned 380. That's an early domination in my book, so it was a fully deserved victory for Huao. He was the better leader. He did expand very well. He took the new world. He got it all. Let's go and take a look at the replay before we look at the statistics. Wow, the second and domination after having declared one war and captured two lost no cities. Domination reached in 1960 turn 380 after 47 turns of war. It was an easy win. I uh, was surprised that he only need to capture two cities to get over the domination threshold, but there you have it. Apparently a lot of water around Saladin's cities. Let's go and take a look at the stats, shall we? Mm, here we have... Okay, let's go to the graphs. <laughs> it's always best to start with the graphs. Wow is the dark and Saladin is the light. We see the graphs here, score, the GNP, yeah, manufacturing, yeah, wow, food, wow, from an early stage, power, wow, was a little bit ahead, but not much until around 1900, culture, it was, uh, that was probably a culture bomb, but then he was closing in, Saladin was closing in. It was pretty even all the way almost to the end. Espionage, it was actually Saladin a little bit ahead and then it was Wow a little bit ahead and they were equal and then Wow went ahead again. So at the demographics we have Saladin's values here, we have Wow the Second's values here. Uh, it ended up with uh, Wow the Second having 73.6 million inhabitants while Saladin ended with 7.1 million, so not so much. It's a big difference. The top six cities and the wonders. Let's go down to the bottom and check the BC wonders. Great Wall, Stonehenge and the Oracle, three cities in the BC era and then the Great Latas, the first in the AD era. Let's go to the top ten. Top six cities. Lisbon is a Portuguese city, Mecca is Saladin's city, then Huau, 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 and Huau. So Saladin's only city is number two on the list. Statistics, this is Saladin's statistics. 16 cities built, 6 religions founded, no golden ages. Currently 25 windmills, 14 towns, and 12 lumber mills built in his cities. 16 lighthouses, 14 granaries, and 14 barracks. Three monuments is here as well. Let's go page down. The wonders, not that many. You built the Hagia Sophia though, and Notre Dame, Parthenon, University of Sancor. 
and you got a great library as well. Top and your current units, Saladin, are 37 Draftman, 18 Cavalry, all the way down to a Frigate. You built a total of 34 Caravels, 29 Riflemen, 27 Workboats, uh, 3 Great Prophets, let's go page down, and you got a Great Engineer and you built a Trebuchet. You killed 15 Cavalry, 13 Infantry, all the way down to a Cannon. You lost 58 Riflemen, 29 Caravels and 19 Cavalry, down to 1 Frigate. That's Saladin, let's look at who are the second's numbers. Built 31 cities, founded 1 religions, got 3 golden ages, currently 54 windmills, 42 workshops and 33 lumber mills. He built in his cities 31 barracks and granaries, 29 harbors, 2 public transportations. Let's go down. He built the Moai statues, uh, pyramids is here, hanging gardens, great lighthouse, Muslim Masolos, Stonehenge, Apostolic Palace, Temple of Artemis, you got Rock and Roll Broadway and a monument down there, page down. The Statue of Liberty, Taj Mahal, Sistine Chapel is here, Kremlin, Colossus, Oracle, a lot of good stuff. And Angkor Wat. Current units for Hua II, 96 infantries, 31 workers, 21 destroyers, all the way down to a submarine. You built 55 workers, 44 longbowmen, 30 settlers, 5 catapults, let's go page down, and you also built one privateer all the way at the bottom here, and you see the rest kills, let's confirm, 58 riflemen, 29 caravels all the way down to a trebuchet, and your losses, 15 cavalry, 13 infantry all the way down to a marine, okay. Let's then go out here and take a look at the cities. Saladin's cities are up first. There are 14 of them. Let's sort them by population. Aden is size 12, Mecca 11, Kufa 11. And we see it is only units with the exception of Fes that is building a granary. And these are numbers. You can stop the video and check if you like. Let's go to the victory condition screen, we see here that Wow has 75% of the land area, 79% of the world population, which means that he has reached a domination. And we see here it is a long way away, there is no cultural attempts, there is no space attempts, apostolic palace built by Wow, but that doesn't really matter. So this has been it for Saladin. Let's go take a look at the 33 cities that Wow has. Let's change to Wow of the Portuguese Empire. Click OK and click on this one to see the cities. Let's make sure we are at the top. Here we have, yeah, things are happening in the background. Sorry about that. Um, Lagos uh, 23, uh, Braganza 22, Lisbon 21, Santarem and Sagres size 20. Building a lot of units, but some places there are wonders. Eiffel Tower is being built in Elvas. Hollywood is being built in Palmela. Tomar is building the Apollo program. Tomar size 12. Let's go to the bottom. Too much size 12, let's see too much there, and O Porto is 11 and down, and no wonders in those below that. Spoiler alert, results and updated league tables follows after this screen. We see that after this victory, Huao the second is up to second place in the league, 4 points and a positive 20 score per turn difference. Saladin is in 8 place, 2 points and a uh, plus minus zero in uh, score per turn difference. This has been the last game of the second round. A little bit later today, you will get the Noble Leaders League review preview magazine. Pay attention to that one. Come back for that one. You will see all the results, uh, all the tables. You will get some interesting other tables, like war tables and leader rating tables and stuff. And you will get the preview of the third round that is going to start on Monday, May the 10th. Then it will be the very first game of round three. But before that... 
Pay attention to get a hold of the NLL RPM that comes in a few minutes. And then in a little bit over a week, I will see you back for the third round. This has been Jutlike. This has been the NLL. Goodbye for now.